There are three types of stock analysis, one that you should do, one that you can do, and one that you're going to do. They all get the same return. When you got into investing, this is what you thought you'd be doing. You also used to think that on December 25th a grown man would climb down your chimney and give you a free PS2. And an old guy, in a red suit, climbing down a chimney to give you presents in the middle of the night, is actually more realistic than you reading a 56-page 10Q and accurately being able to determine whether you should buy or sell. And what is this? A 10K? You didn't realize you were gonna have to do exercise to invest in the fucking stock market. The first time you read 10K, you were running the other direction. So maybe security analysis isn't your thing. The day you find this out is also the day that Wall Street Bets conveniently enters your life. Finding Wall Street Bets feels like a new beginning. Because it is. The beginning of the end. Trading has now become your weird, psychotic religion. You do magic rituals. They don't actually do anything. You read sacred texts. They don't actually do anything. You listen to holy men. They don't actually do anything. And in a desperate attempt to save you from yourself, your brain starts to correlate random things in the outside world to the performance of your Robinhood account. And to your surprise, whether or not Jupiter is in retrograde actually correlates better to Amazon's share price than all of the analysis you did. Because of this, you now realize it's best to gamble with your financial future using rules like, huh, Lil Yachty's about to drop an album. Time to go short, I guess. Looks like Tesla's been trading sideways for a while now. That probably means it's due to go up pretty soon here. This 10% out of the money call should do the trick.